In this Excel video, I'm going to show you how to combine multiple Excel workbooks into one file. And this works especially well if each of those workbooks follows a similar format. Let's get started. So here I am in a spreadsheet that tracks the sales of a small business that sells board games and card games. And this data is from the year 2022, but there are other workbooks that are for other years, 2021, 2020, and it's not really necessary to keep those in separate workbooks. Let's combine them. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get out of that current spreadsheet. I'm gonna open up a blank workbook. And like I say, I'll close out of the workbook that I had open. At this point, I'm going to go up to the data tab and on the data ribbon, you should see a get and transform data group. I'm gonna click on get data from file and choose from folder. Now, the reason I'm choosing from folder is because I have a folder where all of the workbooks that I want to combine together are stored. So I'll select from folder, here is that folder and I select the folder, I don't double click on it, that would get me inside the folder. Instead, just select it, click open, and Excel has identified now all three workbooks that are in that folder. Now I can go down here to combine, and I can select combine and load. There are other options that work well that you could try, and I'm just gonna select table four as my parameter, and then I'll click OK, and Excel now is working to bring in that same table, basically, from each of the workbooks. I get a nice queries and connections panel here at the right. You can look through those options if you want and work through them, but I'm going to close it out, and let's take a look at what we have. We have the table data from 2020, 2021 and 2022 all combined together in one spreadsheet inside of one workbook. Now I'm gonna jump over here to sheet number one and let's look at some of the other options that you have. When you go to data, get data, from file, from folder, choose the folder, open it up. Another thing you can try is instead of combine and load, you can combine and load two. Select a parameter, click OK, and by choosing combine and load to, I get some other options. I could combine and load this data to a table, or I could combine and load it to a pivot table report, a pivot chart, or only create a connection between these workbooks. I can also choose to add this combined data to the existing worksheet, this one here, or to a new worksheet. I'm gonna choose existing worksheet and I want to try pivot table report. I click okay and Excel opens up a panel on the right and I can select pivot table fields from which I want to build a pivot table report. So maybe I'm interested in April, December and January for some reason. It brings up that pivot table report. I could add yearly sales totals and go from there. I'm going to open up a new spreadsheet, sheet three, and let's try one of the other options. So data, get data, from file, from folder, and I select the specific folder, open it. There we have the three separate workbooks. I'll combine and load two, select a parameter, click OK, and this time I'm going to import the data into a pivot chart in the existing worksheet, click OK. It tells me to select the data here, so I do, and I get a pivot chart. So in this video, we've looked at several different ways that you can combine multiple workbooks into one workbook by using the get data from file from folder option. Now, if you're interested in learning more about pivot charts, pivot reports, pivot tables, please watch my other videos on those topics. But in the meantime, thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell so you'll be notified when I post another video. Consider clicking the thanks button below the video, or you could support me through my Patreon account or by buying channel merch, and you'll see information about those options in the description below the video. If you'd like to support my channel, consider becoming a member of the channel by clicking the join button. You'll get some nice features and be able to learn even more about technology and you'll learn more about my channel and have access to nice additional features. Speaking of Patreon, I want to give a quick shout out to my $5 Patreon supporters. Thank you so much for all you do to support my channel. I really appreciate you.